Hey gang, I'm not even sure how to describe this, but this is, uh, I saw something that I deem as pretty, pretty uh, disturbing to me. Don't get me wrong, I see some disturbing things, but this is, uh, this is bad news. All right, right in front of this Walgreens that I'm at, I just pulled in. My pastor had to turn around and she is sitting outside the Walgreens leaning, laying, or she's sitting squatting against the wall and she looks like she has a blind cane I'm not a uh, I'm not oh yeah she looks very blind um I'm not too familiar with the I hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna go up and talk to her. She has glasses on and that's, that looks definitely like a, you know, the blind stick where they tap in front of them so they don't run into something. But it, and she's got a backpack and a sign. And if she's homeless and blind, oh Lord. <laughs> I don't know how we get so much worse than that. All right, I'm gonna go talk to her and uh, stay tuned. I'm very saddened right now. I really am. I hope she just uses that as a walking stick versus a blind stick. That would, I would feel a lot better. I don't feel good at all to begin with because of the fact that she's out here, but homeless and blind is a different story altogether, man. Think about it. All right, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to help this woman at all costs. Ma'am? Yes. Can you see me? No, but I can hear you. Okay, uh, I was wondering about that. I'm so sorry. Here, I, can I offer you a water, please? Sure. It's ice cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for the taxi. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Would you? Do you need a lunch? Huh? Would you like a lunch? What kind of lunch? I have a, a peanut butter and jelly and some and chips and snacks. I do this all the time. No, I saw. But I, I, you know, I don't like the creamy peanut butter. <laughs> okay. You know, I stuck everything in my mouth. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm so, good. Thank you. All right. Well, there's other things that there's a uh, a, a granola bar and a Nutri Green. No, it's okay. I'm good. Thank you. Uh, okay. You know, I'm not that sweet things like eating sweet things though. So. All right. I'm good. Thank you. All right. Well, if you're waiting for a taxi and everything's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just waiting for a taxi. All right. I'll tell you what. Um, let me offer you a gift card. This is from my friend Dorothy in Texas. I'll put it in your hand for you. Okay. There you go. Okay. It's for Walmart. For Walmart? Yeah, $10. $10. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you can, you know, get whatever you want. Some sandwich yes. meat and whatever, whatever you like. Yes, I will. So, all right. Can I ask your name? I like the fried chicken in there. There? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> so, I got to stay away from it though. I put on too many pounds. Yeah, my name is Luz Tabina. Luz Tabina? Yeah. That's very nice. My name is Daryl. Daryl? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to check on you to see if you're okay and offer you a water. Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Well, fantastic. All right. Well, then I, if you got a ride coming, that's great. Get out of this heat. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's brutal. Hey, do you know, do you live here in Belton? I In Chatsworth. Oh, in Chatsworth. Yeah. yeah. See, I would give you yeah, a ride. I'm looking something for rain. I don't have a place to stay right now. No? Where, where are you staying? Sleeping in the sidewalks, you know, like on the... Buffet Avenue, Underwood Street, you know. You gotta be kidding me. In the sidewalks or beside the wall, the Mexican stores. Really? You know, before, uh, you know, the thing is, uh, you know, the disability check uh, is not enough to pay the wish is in the It's a little bit more than 300 a week. Yeah, the rent the rent yeah, is more the, than the disability. Uh, the rent oh, well. and, the, and the food and taxi. Yeah. It lasts me the disability check between 10 days to 15 days. The oh. taxi is expensive, like it's out of... Uh, you know, it's in Rocky Face. The taxi is? I mean, the with the center stay, the motel. It's in Rocky Face. Okay. So. Do you, uh, um, do you get food stamps? I don't. You do not? Have you applied? I tried to, but, uh, you know, there's somebody else been claiming me the last few, few years, so I don't know what. So you're under someone else's account? I don't know Kind of. But they do, they done it. You know what I mean? Okay. They claimed me one time in uh, 2017 when I didn't I wasn't getting no food stamps at that time. 
and then on 2019 February or March I applied to I applied for first time so I was getting the first time so after that I haven't applied and it's been like somebody else has been claiming me on this really well, I think you probably would need it more than they would. Huh? I think you would probably be more worthy of it than they are. What? Getting the food stamps. <laughs> well, wouldn't you think? I mean, you know I mean that's the, not right. That, yeah, that's not right. It's my exactly my point. You know, what I mean, me sometimes I don't have no like I go like uh, I lost my two car horse today, so I got somebody make me an, uh, another one because I've been getting a lot of bully with my cardboard. Like, my, my cardboard says I am blind, need help, anything will be a blessing, God bless you. But for saying I am blind, a lot of people is like, uh, you're foolish, yeah, you am fucking blind, you know? Yeah, how can, yeah, how you know, can you be? Yeah, people yeah. telling me, go back to your country, you know, but yelling to me, bullying me. Yeah. Go back to your country, go back to Mexico. Okay? That's pretty I'm more, sad. I'm more here, you say. So you're a U.S. citizen? Yes. Yeah. I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm not white, but I'm a U.S. citizen. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't I matter. I have no paper from Mexico. So, and that is now, horrible. Now I changed my my cardboard. Well, I done. An, I told her to do one similar. The one that says I am blind need help. Now we didn't put. She didn't put no. Let, let, let me show you. Like this one right here. Now it says need help. Anything will be a blessing. God bless. Absolutely. But now for those people who's bullying me, I make this one. You know, God bless. Need help. So please. please don't be stingy and and share some of your money with me. I hope they were this time because they used to come and say, "You ain't fucking blind." Now one they said, "I ain't fucking stingy." Here's a hundred dollars. They're not gonna say that. You know what I mean? Right, right. But I'm gonna see if they, what they say about this. Well, you know what's kind of. I don't feel like it sounds right. But it's something for those really people, you know what I mean? Right. Now they're going to say, what they're going to say? Because now it's directed to them. Don't you worry about getting hit by a car? and? Yes, but, uh, you know, I don't have an option. Oh, my I Lord. Have to walk, you know what I mean? Like, right now, I don't cross this piece of road. Okay. You know, more than more than two lines, I don't cross it. Like, uh, this one is too busy. On the street, I can cross it because it's only two lines during the day. You know, when I don't hear vehicles coming, I can cross it. But the uh, three, four, five lines, I don't do it, not even for a joke. I don't want to die young and beautiful. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get you a cooling towel that you put around your neck to help you stay cool. Would that be okay with you? What's that? A cooling towel. Oh, a cooling towel? Yeah, you put it around your neck and it keeps your, it keeps your body cool? Wait. Yeah. No, 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 I'm good. Okay. I'll be, I'll be all right, you know. All right. Boy, oh boy. Uh, so I'm just gonna like. What do you think about that sign? About the well, it's the uh, you know <laughs> to tell you. Uh, I I don't I don't feel like it sounds right, but people's bullying me because I was using the other sign saying I am blind. Need help? Anything will be a blessing. God bless. I've seen some people use some pretty adult language on some of those signs, so I would say it's definitely not, you know, not the worst. Bad. No, I don't think it's bad at all. But at the same time, it's uh. Because the other one wasn't saying no money. The other one says anything will be a blessing. Yeah. You know what I mean? The one I just lost today was saying I am blind in hell. Oh Lord. And so this one it doesn't say no, I'm blind no more. But it's, I like it the way it says, you know, need help, anything will be a blessing, God bless. It says anything. Right, right. It bring me good, it's in this and that. So now, is there, that the other one that, so please don't be stingy and share some of your money with you. I never used the war in the science money. Right. I never used them. Now I'm saying it because it's going through the bully people because they don't help, not even with the coins or dollar, but they bully me. To be honest, I wonder how many people actually read the signs. Huh? I wonder how many people even read them, to be honest. Well, I don't know, because this one it should be, let, uh, you know, it's too much saying, and the letter's not that big. You yeah. know, for the driving, the drivers, the agency, yeah. it need to be, like, uh, ranges in double line to make it darker. You know what I mean? Right. So, when oh, the letters are, like, like this one they don't I, I don't I don't get much money okay because people cannot read it like the drivers they come stop in the sign in the stop sign 
but 20, 30, 40 feet away, they cannot read those letters. Sure, sure, yeah, it's too, too small, it. right. But make it a bigger, make it thicker, like four inches. Yeah. Make it a double line to make it darker. They can be able to read it 30, 40 feet away. Yeah, so short, you need so it short and sweet, better. yeah. Being small, the letters, when they, they don't, they cannot read it till they stop, they're not gonna take all the time to read all that and they just look at the traffic and go. Yeah. But it's still, you know, good, it's okay. All right. So we'll see what the police people said. I hope they'll come and say, I am fucking stingy. Here's our months. Here's some money. Yeah. Oh, here's a hundred dollar bill. Well, not gonna do that. well, <laughs> they could tell you they did, and you probably wouldn't be able to know the difference, would you? Huh? They could give you a dollar bill and say it's a hundred. They done it to me one time. Well, no, sometimes, uh, you know, they give me a hundred and people take it like a dollar. So. Okay. Everywhere I go. All right. Well, I'm just worried about you getting kind of ripped off at the same time. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? You know, somebody asked me a couple weeks ago. He says, you're not afraid of being out here in the streets at midnight? I said, no, because God is with me. Fantastic. You know what I mean? I'm never alone. No. I'm never alone because uh, I got angels, not only one. Protected me all the time, 24/7. Plus God is with me. I know so, you. You know, sometimes I feel like a little bit afraid, but I said no. You know, I'm not alone. I wish I had a Bible. God is, God is here right at this moment. You know, with me, and I, I should not be afraid. Well, bless you, young lady. See, I wish I I have some Bibles, but I won't be able to read. It. Right, but I was wondering if you know. But it's okay because I use it for assistance. Okay. Because I was going to say, if I had one in Braille, can you read Braille? Uh-uh. No? Okay. No, because when I got blind, it was on September 26, 2019. And people tell me, some people tell me that I can learn that, to do that, you know, to read Braille at the library. But the library was closed for the next few years for the for because of COVID-19. So you're... It's when the COVID-19 starts. So I, I was, they, the, it was closed for the public and you cannot just order things like books or whatever and go pick them up at the window and drop them off at the window. That's all you can do. That's, uh, that's, that's horrible, man. Man, I feel so, so bad. Right now it's open. That's what I heard. I don't know. So it's, it's coming up on five years that you've been blind. Almost. Almost, yeah, September. Yeah, September 26th. What, uh, do you mind me asking how, what, how it happened? Uh, well, well, obviously, I, I got run over. You got hit by a car. Uh, from the worst criminals, a police officer. Oh boy. That's what I'm saying. The worst criminals. They run the red light. But they come up in the news here in Dalton and Chattanooga, and what they say in the news is what the police says to get away from what they done. That I jump in front of the vehicle to the side. Okay, let me tell you this. You know, it's like two lanes. You know that road, uh -huh. but at the but the red light is three lanes because it's the one for turning. You know what I mean? Sure. The turning line. Yeah. Like going to the left. Yeah. From a legion, like yeah, where is the fair? Getting out in Glenwood. Yeah. So they got me in that line. So there's no way I can just jump from the side to a fix. Yeah. How do you go? How do you go that many lanes? Huh? Yeah. How do you, how do you get over that far? But, I didn't jump. Uh, well, that's what I mean. It, it's a it's impossible. <laughs> No, I know it's impossible, especially, you know, like, uh, uh, how many feet is one one lane of the road? I think it's like eight or ten. A, a, a normal a normal width of a lane, I believe, is 12 feet. 12 feet, one lane. Yeah. yeah. So it was one lane and a half. Okay, so 18. it was more than 12 feet. There's no way I can jump from there to there. You no, know what I mean? right. And they got me in the turning line from the opposite, you know. Now it wasn't his line. It was from the, from the people who was getting out in there, so it was getting in, in legend. So if you will get uh, his right sound lane, he will avoid me, but he didn't. And being lying sounds like they killed me. They tried to kill me, they didn't kill me. Because God was with me. You know what I mean, and angels. Absolutely. I don't remember from, uh, at the beginning, I can remember now it's the police, you know what I mean, they don't run me over. But uh, at the beginning, the, the first few months, I'll remember when I wake up in the local hospital. Because from here, uh, they they brought me in the in the hospital at seven thirty one. At ten o'clock, they got me in the emergency and helicopter. So I just stayed two hours and twenty nine minutes here to the local hospital. 
And when I wake up over there, you know, um, I didn't know what was going on. I heard there was cameras. I heard there was police officers sitting beside me 24-7. But I didn't know what was going on. So we just went to uh, doctor tell me, the guy you was super lost because we was told that you tried to suicide for his vehicle, I said, no sir. I remember my whole life and I don't remember I ever tried to suicide under a will because it's only God's will when it's my last day or my last minute in this world. Yeah, it's not for you, you know to mean? decide. Yeah. You know, people tried to end up my, my life before and never could get it because God is with me all the time. Well, that's beautiful. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got it. And and, uh, and and I told the doctor no, and he asked me, "What do you remember from the accident?" At that time, I didn't remember nothing. I said, "No, nothing." I don't remember some boys talked to me twice. You know, like after the accident, but before I wake up or whatever. What? How do you say that? Wake up. Yeah. You know, like uh, you don't know what's going on after the accident. Yeah. Become conscious. Yeah. Okay. So whenever I come back again, you no, know, knowing what was going on. It's when uh, I, told, I told him, I said, uh, but it was after accident and before I got, you know, before I wake up in here, I heard a voice talk to me twice, but he said, you see somebody? I said, no. He said, what the voice tell you? I said, well, the voice talked to me in Spanish, but I'm going to turn in English. I said, the voice tell me the first time, you're going to be okay. You got angels protecting you. When I didn't remember the accident, I didn't know. You know what I mean? Right, you just woke I, up in a I, strange that place. I didn't remember that I got run over. I didn't know what was going on. I know I wake up in the hospital. I, was, I wake up real painful, but I don't know what was going on. Right. And, uh, and uh, you know, after that, I heard that I got run over, but no, nobody told me nothing else. That's you know horrible. I mean? So the doctor, I told, I told him, I said, the doctor, uh, that boy told me the first time, you're going to be okay. You got angels in plural, you know, the S. Like more than one. Right. Angels protecting you. Plural. Yeah. More. Plural. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. more than one. Sure, you know sure. I mean? Yeah. That you're going to be okay. You got angels protecting you. And he was like, oh, and what the boys told you the second time? I said, the second time, tell me that was an attempt. They tried to kill you. But if you look at that, they lie. Saying I jump in front of the vehicle. Then later they found cameras. When I told the doctor, hey, cameras, cameras. He said, cameras, said, yeah. Because if, if I got run over, there's Jack McDonald, Sonny, Wendy, and got station VP. They all got cameras. You know? That's so amazing. I, so. You know, so they found the cameras and I still not get paid for it. Holy crap. I know, there have been some warning with my lawyer, so I'm trying to talk with the insurance right now. And the cardboard I lost today, and one of them, you know. So I got that information from the insurance, and they told me they was gonna call me. I said, I don't have a phone. Wow, that's crazy. So. Well, is there anything else I can do for you today? Your cab's gonna be here probably any minute, eh? Huh? Your taxi? This year? No, I, I mean, I would imagine it should be here pretty soon, eh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, fantastic. They told me 20 minutes, and it's been more than 30, it's been like 40 minutes. All right. So, they'll be here soon. Would you like me to wait till they get here? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you don't know anybody who rents something? I'm sorry? You don't know anybody who rents something? No, I don't know any people that are like renting any housing per se. Well, there's a place called Cox's. Yeah, I already called them, uh, and they told me uh, to check back with them on the first. Yeah, that, that's kind of a routine thing. It's always call me back on the first. Yeah, but sometimes they can get something in the middle because, like, like the meat, anybody else is in disability, they don't rent it by the week. You have to pay the rent by the month. Okay. You only get it one check a month. Yeah. So most of the people, they, they pay weekly. So sometimes they get something in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but I already called them. I think it was... Uh, I called... What's today's... Uh, today's 16th. Tuesday, right? 16th of Tuesday. Tuesday. So I called, I think, Monday. And I, to, I spoke with John. And John says he don't have nothing. Okay. So I'll take it with him on, on the first. Okay, well, that's two weeks away. You got to keep no, going. No, I think, uh, no, I'm, I'm lying. So, I, you know, I'm not lying, but I messed it up. I think I'll call on Thursday, the old John. Okay. The old John, the, the dad, he's like around 80. He, he, he works in the office Thursday and Friday. 
and he saw him this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I think it was his dad first that I called him on Thursday. And he told me, no, I don't have nothing checked back for me on the first. So I think yesterday I called him John, the other one, or something like that. He already called him. Okay. Photo. And uh, John, the son, he's around 60, and he told me to check back to him and, on the first. Okay. So well, stay up on it. Nothing, you know what I mean? From now, hey, I want to find something before that. That's my birthday. <laughs> well, the first? On the first, yeah. August 1st. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna be 25. Okay. 25 for two. <laughs> all right. I was gonna say, uh, that's a. That's 50. <laughs> that's a, yeah. It's like all. Uh, yeah, tell somebody asked, you know, somebody asked me yesterday. I said, uh, we, uh, he's the, uh, they asked me, a lady asked me, a young lady, how old are you gonna be? I said 25. And another one says 25. I said, yeah, for two. Yeah. So make a match. My, my second time being 25. <laughs> yeah. A what? My second time being 25. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. going to be my birthday. And last year I ran for John because uh, he told me to check on the, on the first. And I was praying God to find me something for my birthday. And I didn't get it till the third. But it was too much, too much uh, rat snakes and too much crap in there. Yeah. He didn't let me have no chickens when it was in the county. You know, it's. Uh, uh, on uh, 487 Caprice Road, right, right in the corner by the Red Road, it's in the county. He didn't let me have no chickens or no big dogs, no nothing. Wow. So, and um, every time, you know, if I didn't have no money for taxi, I start walking, and the police stop and start yelling at me. Not all of them, but some of them start yelling at me real bad and uh, saying they, they see me walking again on the side of the road, they was going to arrest me. So. I left that place. They're gonna arrest you for walking on, on side the of the side road. Of the road. Yeah. I said, well, there's. What was the reason? Not my business because there's no sidewalks and I don't have the money to pay taxi. Uh, and if I call number one, one and see if an officer give me a ride, they said no, we don't, we don't, we're not a taxi service. Uh. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> what was the reason they said you can't walk on side of the road? Because they said I can cause an accident, like I can get run over. You know, I follow that side of the grass. You know, I walk on the road, like at the side of the road, if, 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 if the cane. You can feel the gravel, you know. The gravel or the, the grass, grass or sure. Whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you're well off the road. Yeah, yeah. and the nearest, gas, the nearest store was the gas station. That's the one I can find. The other one I never can find it. So the other one, it was like a. Um, it's an L grocery store. It's an L grocery store from somewhere in the Reed Road, Reed Town Road. And it was like a mile and a half too, but to the other side. Okay. But I never can find that one. I already tried before. The tray to your SIM card is open on your phone. Yeah, I did it. Oh, okay. I just didn't want it I to fall out or something, so you would, you know, be without a phone. No, it's okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Right you know, I just take it out sometimes with my name. All right. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's, I left it. I stayed there for seven or eight months. I left it like four months ago. Okay. And I went to Wiffenstein to stay, hoping I could find something else, but I never could find it. Yeah. Because the apartments, they want me to make three times more than the rent. <laughs> you know, there's some apartments there, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. You know, something I can afford. Yeah. Like uh, Avenue E apartments, they want apartments there in Avenue E. That one. I have to make three times the, the rent. I think it's between five or six hundred dollars the rent. So I don't get enough money for the three times the rent. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm able to afford that, but they want to co-sign for not making more extra. Okay. And I don't. No one. Nobody want to do that. So. Well, I know that they're very popular, and they've helped a lot of people. What I can do now, I was thinking that uh, I was gonna do it yet last year, but I didn't done it. Like. Uh, Try to save a little bit of money, but it's hard because sometimes one penny I only get like some days I don't get I don't get even enough for one meal. So trying to be like saying I stay homeless and try to save a little bit from my disability check and just pay handy for food. If I don't if I don't only get for food, I'll you know. So whenever they do sell the properties over the taxes, give me a property. No matter if it's only a land, you know. Yeah. No house. You know, they told me I have to wait a year, but anyways, if I if I I can move in there with a tent or buy a storage unit, 
you don't have to pay the whole storage unit. You know this LMP 41? Yeah. They're between, uh, you know, like uh, more than $2,000 to $7,000. And the payments is between $87 a month to $180. You're talking about those giant uh, uh, steel, con unit. the steel yeah. containers? No, like a storage unit, I would. Okay, unit. okay. Like a, the and then have some people, you know, I heard one, uh, somebody bought it before and make it like a dollhouse for her, for her, for his daughters. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Sure. Remodelate it, like it don't come with insulation and things like that, you know? Sure, sure. So he put all that and then make a little key. Well, it'll keep you out of the rain, rain and the wind. For and the, the kids. Yeah, fantastic. And some of them, they got like a two story, like, um, they're real, uh, they're a little bit tall and there's some stairs. But you can go on the like a second floor, but you cannot be standing. You know, like you can put a bed on the top. Wow. You know, in the middle, some of that. So you know, that's gonna be monthly. That's gonna be cheaper for me in the rent. Oh, for I, sure. If I get me a, you know, they tell me in court like, uh, if you buy a, a property over the taxes, you cannot occupy that. You cannot move in. Do you have to wait a year? Why you have to wait a year? Because if the owners come and yeah, they can pay their taxes back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if it's a land, what yeah. I'm gonna lose? You know what I mean? Right. If I if I buy a storage unit, they they cannot say it's there is their storage unit because I'm gonna have proof of the payments. You know what I mean? And if they come back and pay the taxes on it, you I get your money back. My, I move my storage unit out. Yeah, you you be gone and you get your money back. Yeah, and I can yeah. move the stuff. You know, wherever I go, I can just call them and say, hey, can you move me this? And I just pay whatever they charge me. Yeah, and you're you know borrowing I mean? it anyway. For being in the streets, and you have a piece of land with a storage unit that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be paying less for rent. You know what I mean? Sure. Like a hundred or two hundred dollars, the most two hundred dollars a month. You know, paying the storage unit and payments. Right. Because you don't have to give a big down payment. All you give is hundred dollars, like deposit or down payment, and then plus the monthly rent. Sure. You know, the, the monthly payment. Yeah, the payment for the unit. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a small one, it can be like seventy something or eighty something. The cheapest one. Sure. Month. You can get it from. A, That's a great idea. That you can get it between thirty six months to sixty months. Wow. It's between three years to five years to pay that. Whatever you choose. That's why the payments go up and down. Here. Sure. Yeah. If, you can make your you own. You buy something that you wanted for 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 three years, and then the payment is gonna be more. Sure. But if you want it for five years, that is sixty months. Then the payment goes lower. Yeah, so. Okay. All right. You know. Oh, there's a like, taxi there at the light. Where? At? Over here at the traffic light. Well, which one is it? Um. Well, he's he's gonna turn. I think he's turning this way. Is this panic taxi? I can't tell. He's behind a few cars. Maybe a few cars. No, he's going the other way. He he turned the other way. He turned the other way? Yeah, he was at the, he was at the, uh, yeah, I couldn't see him through a bunch of different cars, but he turned down Shugart going towards Walmart. But, oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let you get yeah, ready. So they should be here any minute. And, uh. You know, like, I, 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 I was talking with my probation officer today. Because I was talking an appointment today, but they said, no, I don't have to show up. Just to keep in touch with them once a week. They put me on probation because I hit a vehicle, barely hit a vehicle, make a little bit of scratch. So they give me five years probation. Five years probation? Cause you did what? I hit I hit the vehicle with a blunt stick and make a little scratch. But they arrest me. I spent two months, sixty one days in jail, waiting for two disability checks to be able to pay the two months the two thousand dollars pound. So that wasn't for a eleven last year. So I'll get out on uh, April twelfth so I can get the two thousand dollars to be able to pay the two thousand pound two disability checks. You hit and, uh, and then we was going to court last year, different courts, but never take their offer what they was asking me. So finally, I never, I never says I'm guilty. Finally, in, in January this year, on the eighth, I went to court, and the court continued on the ninth. And the night they sentenced me, they gave me anger classes, 50 hours community service. They want me to do the mental health evaluation and uh, five years probation. Five years probation. Mine is the 61 days I spent in jail. They took off out of the five years. Because you hit what with your stick? A uh, bagel. A I make a little scratch. But you know what they say? A bagel. A vehicle. A, car. a vehicle. Oh, okay. So what this, this people says in court, 
uh, Gregory Dale is the owner of the vehicle. That lady was bullying me, and I keep telling her, leave, leave me alone, go away, you know. I was crying because she was keep uh, yelling at me and telling me a lot of crap. Harassing you. But yes, all the time, almost every day, every day she was harassing me. So when they went to court, uh, Gregory Dale says that when I fold the cane, the something sharp come out of the cane like uh, three inches, like a screw, and that I hit the vehicle with that. Remember yeah, there's no screws in there. No, yeah. none of the canes. No, no. No, no. Okay. There was big, 11 big scratches on the vehicle. Plus the, the wheel was damaged. I didn't done all that. You can't damage a wheel with a stick. Oh my God. But they, they were saying about the screw. When there's no screws. So the liar told me... That's amazing to me. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But there's nothing I can do, you know what I mean? Like... I hear you. All right. Somebody told me, um, don't take revenge. Like, just pray for them. You know, ignore. Just, uh, you know, don't tell bad words to the people bully you. Just pray for them. I said that's what I'm doing. I say I'm praying for. I'm praying for them. So whatever they do to me, they go back to them multiplying. Right. <laughs> He's well, not laughing. <laughs> no evil deed goes unpunished. Huh? You know, no evil deed goes unpunished. What do you mean? That no matter what you do, when you do something wrong, put it this way, steal a dime, lose a quarter. You're going to get paid back in some way, shape, or form for any wrongdoings you do in your life. Yeah, they're going to pay back. They're gonna pay well, back. that's what I mean. The, their time will come. It's just maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Yeah. Five years. Who knows? But it, it will happen. But uh, okay, I want you to have a great day. It was a pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you so okay. much. I just got, I'm, I'm gonna call the taxi. See what's. All right. What time is it right now? Let me look. Well, let me ask you. Uh, uh, I have to get my phone. I believe it is. It? Uh, it's about 12:30. Let me take a look. 12:27. Yep. That's what my phone says. Okay. Call 706-483-3128. Can you give me a ride? I, my car is totally full, but if they're already coming, I mean, I can probably make some arrangements. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been almost an hour since I called them. Where do you have to go? And they say 20 minutes and it's still not here. I can make room for you. See you guys. No se le ha desocupado ningún taxi. Okay, gracias. Yeah, it's getting here in a minute or two. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you have a blessed day. You know, I like your sign though, I really do. You know. Which one would you like better? <laughs> the first side. This one? No, the other one. Yeah. Yeah, but people bully me more because the other one says I yeah. am blind need help. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking blind. Yeah, no, I could imagine you could get the comments. You know, you for know, sure. Like one day I was sleeping on the sidewalk of uh, the uh Forest Street and Fifth Avenue by the Coronita. And I heard a vehicle got in the back of the store, you know, the parking lot. But I, I wasn't in the, in, the, in the store, I was by the sidewalk near to the red light. I feel more safe in there because traffic is passing, you know. No matter if it's midnight, once in a while vehicle is passing. So people's gonna think twice to do me something in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh. Um, Witnesses. I, lay, I heard a vehicle go in the back of the store, and I later start. Are you alright, man? 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 Are you okay? Are you okay? She, uh, she asked like two times. And I said, who are you talking to? And she's like, not to you. I know you're not blind. And she was saying again twice, are you okay, ma'am? Are you okay, ma'am? And then I heard when the vehicle started going, and she's like, ha, 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 laughing real loud, like bullying me. Because there was nobody else in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's horrible. There was nobody else in there, and she was like, uh, you know, for me to answer, for her to tell me, you ain't blind. It's amazing how some people can be so kind, and some people can be so evil. It's it, it really is amazing to me, but uh, all right. Well, your cab should be here any second, so yeah. I'm gonna let you go about your day, and uh, I'll be praying for you. Okay, thank you so, so much. Absolutely, and uh, I want you to be extremely careful and keep keep trying to get a hold of John. You know, over there at the the rental. Yeah, but uh, John only have him in the county, and he don't let me have a big dog. He said less than twelve pounds a dog. Well, I less than twelve pound a dog is not gonna, it's not gonna be approved for being a guide dog. Yeah, you know what I mean to help me cross this route. Realize what is that. 
Okay, and uh, and chickens, you know, it was like three quarters an acre where I was renting in there, the mobile home. The rent was cheap, yeah, but it was more expensive than taxi from over there every time I needed, was needed to come to the store. And I wasn't getting no money because the police didn't let me go over there anywhere there. I think they would be legally obligated to let you have a, 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 a guide dog. I mean, I think that would be a law. You know, I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate, but, um, all right. And he says, if you, if, if you get, and then the chickens, he said, no, he said, only, a, if you're going to get a dog, it's less than 12 pounds, or you can get a chicken, but what, just one chicken. I said, a chicken is not going to, it's, it's going to give me one egg a day. It's not going to be, you know, not even. Here, I'll help you with your phone. I wasn't going to be able to get full with a, you know, eat a, enough for one egg a day. Okay. So, you know, I was needed some more than one chicken. Okay, where's my phone? Okay. Right there. Here's your sign. Oh, yeah. If you wanna, whatever's easy for you. I think I'm gonna go to find the one that helped me. Okay. All right, <laughs> uh, he's coming to help you. Okay, pause the señor. Oh boy. All right, have a great day. You're welcome. My freaking crap. Oh, that makes me so angry. I mean, I know people get yelled at and called obscenities and whatnot. It's a brutal world. It's a brutal world. You know. That's sad, man. That's just downright sad. All right. Well, at least she's in, you know, safe hands with a legitimate taxi company. I would have gave her a ride. Um, yeah, I just had to move some stuff. No big deal. All right. She probably could have actually, well, by then it was probably too late to cancel. Probably got to pay ahead of time. I don't even know how that works anymore. But, uh, okay. I'm going to sign off, guys. Got some work to do.